online keyword NASCAR. This started about 10 seconds ago. Nine laps in, and there's the big one. And I counted eight cars that just came down in front of us at the start finish line. That's all there is, about eight. It's Johnny Sauter right here. Remember, he was in the big one a year ago. There you see Bobby Hamilton Jr., the 25 car. Jason Keller, second points, 57 car. Lyndon Amick, we saw him waving. And he was Hamilton. running in fifth place, Mike, Lyndon oh, Amick. What a shame. Michael and Dale Jr. just barely made it through. It's right behind them. Randy the, McDonald. The Canadian driver. There goes Scott Riggs. His car is just oh, and all that. Chad Blunt crashed yesterday in practice. They repaired that car. And Darrell, this wreck Green. happened at a place that we really don't normally see the big one, off turn four. And this is uh, Mike McLaughlin. A lot of damage to the front of his car, too. Saw Todd Bodine, the 92 car, our points leader sitting on pit road, tore up. And the 38 of Casey Kane. Outside pole sitter, Kerry Earnhardt. All damage to the rear there. Guys, guys, let's talk about who, <laughs> who did about. 10 cars made it, the rest of them didn't. Crews rushing back to the garage to try to get cars back in the race. What happened to turn four? Let's see. Oh, something happened right there that... Something happened with 21 cars, 21 Johnny Sauter. Car, yeah. It's not. Yeah, something happened, shot him down across the apron. They started checking up and behind him. Darryl. Almost looked like he was trying to get out of the way, and uh, somebody got into the back of him in the process. There you go. Now, let, I, I don't, I think that may be. 32 car, that's Lyndon Amick. I think that may be behind. See, there's, there's a 21 down on the apron. He got, we're, we need to go a little further back, I think. Because I'm not sure there was contact between uh, Sauter and Amick. Yeah, I think he just dropped to the bottom and all of a sudden. Uh, Watch the 21. Well, we can, oh, this he's is a little he, behind it. Yo, he's up in front of this crowd right here. Yeah, the 32 gets into the back of the 21. Amy gets into the back of uh, Sauter, and that's what started. I don't know, but it looked like from when I was looking at it, the 21 dropped down for some reason. But apparently, maybe Linda Amick got in the back of him, checked up, then Brian Vickers gets in the back of him, the five car. From Mike McLaughlin. Almost got through there. Yeah, he's Scott Wimmer. Just couldn't see anything. Got the fluid all over his windshield. And uh, look at that car on the inside. They're going into the inside wall. Looked like it might have been. Was that McMurray? And these are all roof cams. Whatever view you see here, this is basically what the drivers see out of the windshield. I wonder if, if you hear like a big vibrating noise before Sauter's car got down to the apron right there. He was trying to get out of the way, or, or he got to the bottom in a hurry. I'm not sure why. From Brian Vickers. Darrell, something came up off the ground from the vicinity of the left side of Johnny Sauter's car. Here we go. Including David Green and Scott Riggs also coming in. A huge melee crash that has caused several problems for many drivers in the early going of the Aaron Street Well. Darrell, the 21 car was having a problem. Yeah, a it looks, problem. Like, looks like he started, the, the car started to turn uh, before Vickers got to him. Looks like he maybe had a tire going down. Could've I'm sure we interviewed him, he'll tire. be able to yeah. tell us. Yeah, looks like his car just started to break loose right in front of that whole crowd. And unless you have a tire going down here, that normally won't happen. From our uh, Bush Beer aerial coverage. Look at how quickly this clogs the whole racetrack. Yeah, and I mean, remember, you're running 190 miles an hour. You can't stop. Uh, you just try to you try to drive through it if there's any way possible. Matt Yoakum's with a driver who's a victim for the second week in a row. Mike, Bobby Hamilton Jr. had to leave his car on pit road. You couldn't drive it back to the garage. First off, what happened? Uh, at the 21, cut it right rear down her side. Seen rubber flying everywhere. And, uh, and that was all she wrote then. Of course, you know, what goes down always comes up. And I think I got hit in the side by the 10 and turned us all. But, you know, man, what, <laughs> what do you do? You know, this is two weeks in a row for us. But... No tore up race car, but we'll just go to uh, Nashville and try to get one of them good cars down there. And that was the fourth place car, Johnny Sauter, that was in trouble, so they can tell you how many cars was behind him. 
Dick Bergeron is with Jason Keller. And Jason was an innocent victim at Daytona. Last couple laps of the race involved in a big one. They had to rebuild a brand new car for today. What happened to you out there? I don't know. Uh, something happened in front of me. What I uh, really couldn't see that. It was uh, pretty tight racing out there. But uh, just hated for the Albertson's crew. They uh, built a brand new hot rod here for me uh, after that wreck at Daytona. And here we are out again. But uh, we'll uh, we'll come back. Got one shot to get this thing up to speed. It uh, can be a real bad points day, but uh, we just uh, do what we can do. As things go, of the cars I've seen come into the garage so far, Mike, this is one of the least damaged. Good bet that they can get this car back on the racetrack again, potentially even at competitive speed. Thanks again, Dick. Let's watch and listen to Johnny Sauter's onboard. right there. You, you can hear that right rear tire starting to flap up in, in the wheel well. As, as Bobby Hamilton talked about, he had a right rear tire coming apart. Obviously, run over something, he cut the right rear tire down and then uh, came apart, lost control right in front of everybody. Instead of the Fox tracks, we're going to need punch stat to count all the hits that Johnny Sauter took in that one. 12 brought to you by Aaron's Sales and Lease Ownership. Let Aaron's drive your dreams home today. Joe Nemechek, the uh, pole sitter, but recovering from uh, what is at this point a 21 car crash, along with Jeff Hammond, Chris Myers here at the uh, Hollywood Hotel. And thanks for being with us. Six of the uh, top nine points leaders involved in this wreck. Dale Earnhardt Jr. escaped. So did Brian Vickers for the moment. We're still counting up. And last year, there were there were 27 cars involved in, in the big one. That was on lap 15. As, that's Todd Bowdown right there in the 92 car. He was trying to make his way back on the racetrack. They'd come in, ripped the nose off, and had already put a, uh, a replacement piece on the front of it. He was trying to keep him losing any more laps, so those guys are working very feverishly to try to maintain his point lead. At this point, no serious uh, injuries to report. We'll keep an eye, and this is a look. Uh, take, uh, take us through this, Jeff. Yeah, you see all of a sudden 21 car, Johnny Sauter right there. He loses the right rear tire, and what happens is Lennon Amick sees that happen, and he tries to get out of the way when he starts see seeing him spin out. Unfortunately, he gets tackled behind, and there all of a sudden, you've got a melee that's second to none. You see cars spinning Looks everywhere. Like, like ants just oh, scrambling. Oh, yeah, it's just nobody has any place to go. They're going so fast, and everybody spins back up in front of the big packs. There's just no place to go, guys. All right, let's take a look. I believe this is Scott Wimmer, a view from his onboard camera. In the back right there, all of a sudden he gets tagged right there. You see him behind the 92 car, Todd Bodine. Damage he's sustaining as well as Wimmer's in the wall. He's just literally riding it along. The Stacker 2 camera showing there. And then Michael Waltrip, his onboard, as this makes it through. Michael right there, he's, you see, at the back of his car. And all of a sudden it starts and everything right behind it. The door actually closes behind Michael. He just barely escapes getting damaged right now. So it's just, you know, you've got to be in the right place at the right time. He started way back, but he was able to work his way up to the top ten, and that's what saved him. All right, so this is the uh, tote board to the moment of those involved. And as Daryl Waltrip said, hey, it might be easier to mention those who were not involved, but you get a look and you can check to see where your, your driver or uh, where your car, the one that you were following, is involved. As, you, as we mentioned, uh, six of the uh, top uh, nine points leaders, including uh, Todd Bodine, uh, who was the points leader coming in. Twenty total cars sustained damage during this wreck right here. So a lot of guys are working, as you see, trying to straighten out sheet metal to get back out there. There's a driver right there. That's Randy, That's LaJoy. Randy LaJoy trying to straighten the sheet metal out, trying to get it fixed. And Let's I think check in. Dick Bergman. Hey, Randy. In the big one last year, same car in the big one again. Can you get this thing out? The car just, oh, boy, it's so bent up. A lot of sheet metal. Uh, it tracked good. You know, it looked like somebody cut a tire. And uh, I seen rubber flying over the cars. And you see the rubber, and... Man, I just pulled the seat belts tight, and I said, boy, this ain't going to be good, and uh, it wasn't. Have you seen the left front rail? I see the right front. I had air conditioning. Yeah, the right front door is torn off, but the rail is bent just in front of the steering box. This car is really torn off. Working on his own car. Now, that's a full-service driver. Jeannie? Well, Johnny Sauter would like to be a full-service driver, but he's back here. First and foremost, everyone wants to know that you're doing okay, yes? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, just unfortunate. Two bad weeks in a row for the payday car. Uh, I don't know what I got to do to get past lap 15 here at Talladega. Last year, you know, I think it was 12 laps and I was upside down. And, and today we cut a left rear tire down and it's just the way it is. Could you tell the tire was going? Did you have any warning at all? Yeah, about when I was in the middle of the corner and it just started going sideways. I mean, I, I started feeling a vibration and the uh, car come around and just tore up. I'm glad you're doing okay. Chris? All right, thanks very much. So nearly half the field, 21 cars involved, and that's why you tune in to watch at the Talladega. A lot of work to be done, and this all happened before lap 10 as we get a look 
at Kevin Grump from his camera on board trying to work through the wreck. We'll be back. NASCAR Racing on Fox. Hang on. To race at these speeds in these series, watch some of the and listen to some of these onboard replays of getting through the big one. So Richard Zion says, Daryl, instead of crank it up, we've had crack it up. I've woke up many a nights in a cold sweat. Oh, 